just the last question. Um, what advice do you give um, to people that are trying to follow your footsteps? Oh, man, uh, that's a good question. That's really hard. I would just say fail fast. Um, and the reason I, I say that is because um, everybody's going to experience failure at some point in their life. And the question is not when you fail, but the question is how you fail and what you learn from it. And my biggest regret is not failing at things. My biggest regret was I really wish I failed faster and just gotten over with. And you realize that, like, you know, these things that you're really concerned about when you're young, like getting a job, especially for those of us uh, with immigrant parents who want us to become doctors and lawyers and get married or whatever, you know, like they're just like, there's all that real strong pressure yeah. to think, figure it all out. And I think that it's okay to uh, take whatever path you feel is, you know, that, that, that positions you for what you think is successful. And not everybody knows what that's going to be when you're 20, you know, it's like who you are at, who you are at 18, 16 is different from who you are at 18, who you are at 18 is different from who you are at 21, who you are at 21 is different from 25 to 30. Like you're just constantly adapting and growing and changing as a person and your passions and interests change. The things that you're passionate about when you're younger, when the older you get, you may lose interest in those things and you may want to move on to other things. Um, so if you're thinking of starting a company uh, and you're young, my advice is just do it, right? Like don't hold back. You're young. If you fail, you will find a way to, to get over it. Once you get married and you have kids, your tolerance for risk is going to get really low because now you have financial obligations, you got people to support. So if you're young and you've got like nothing really to do, join a startup, work. You know, there's some great companies here in DC. I know lots of people that are looking for developers. They might not pay great, but you'll get it. It'll be a great roller coaster. And if they take off, you know, you might end up, you know, being the next uh, big company. There's a few unicorns here in the DC area. Um, you know, that are billion dollars in valuation. And, you know, imagine getting equity to a company like that. Your parents won't care. Your parents at the end of the day won't care uh, about your journey. What they care about is if you get to the destination. And sometimes you go a different path. And as long as you're okay financially, they're not going to really care. Yeah. So just um, my advice is just to, to, if you have an idea, go out and do it. Go out and build it. If you want to start a startup, there's many resources here in the D.C. area. There's competitions you can um, enter in. There's incubators. Um, you know, at, if University of Maryland has a great startup program, UMBC has a great startup program, George Washington, Georgetown University, uh, those are all, you know, a, a, amazing programs. University of Maryland had a program too. Say that again? University of Maryland had a program. Yeah, yeah. So there's just a lot of great resources. And I think that, um, you know, for Muslims, like, especially for people in our community, we just have like, we have a, entrepreneurship is kind of like how a lot of people support their families over here. And, you know, the next generation of, of entrepreneurs needs to get built somehow. So go out there and, and do great things and, you know, uh, take the unconventional path. And if you want to go on the path of, of tech, you know, try to do things that are, that are really going to challenge you. And if you work at these large uh, consulting firms or government contractors or defense contractors, you may not be working on the most cutting edge technology. You may be working yeah. at tech stacks and the money might be great, but you'll be losing out in the long term. And so I would say always focus on the long term uh, and really think about what, what value you want to, what you want to provide to yourself, your family, your community, and to the world. Yeah.